Well, what's up everyone? Welcome back. Patrick here and moving on to the next section in microeconomics. We're now going to talk about demand versus supply. And these concepts are perhaps maybe the most popular in microeconomics because these concepts of demand and supply, they're going to continue to carry over throughout the rest of the course and they're going to get more complex. So this next section, make sure you watch all the videos, get those fundamentals really solid before moving on with the rest of the course. So to begin to describe demand and supply from a higher level, let's bring back that fundamental transaction in economics between a, a consumer and a producer. So as we know, a consumer gives a producer money and then in return, a producer gives a consumer a good or service. And this next section of demand and supply is going to fall, we're going to go into more detail here with this money portion and then this good or service portion. So what we're first going to do is we're going to look at demand, giving you kind of a breakdown of the upcoming section. So we're going to look at demand separately, then we're going to look at supply separately. And demand and supply individually, they're going to kind of fall here for this good or service. Basically, how much of a good or service a consumer is willing to consume and how much of a good or service a producer is willing to produce. And then once we cover demand and uh, supply separately, what we're going to do is we're going to combine them, look at both of them in combination. So we're going to have a combination of demand versus supply. And when we combine, when we look at demand and supply in combination, what that's going to give us is the price of a certain good or service. So that's going to determine how much money a consumer is going to give a producer for that good or service. We're going to talk about stuff like market equilibrium. And then finally, number four, we'll talk about how government can affect demand and supply. Right, so there's going to be another party here. As I've mentioned, there could be a government here regulating this transaction. And so this fourth part of the section is going to be here. We're going to talk about stuff like uh, price floors and price ceilings and how that type of regulation from the government can affect the demand and supply. 